Hi guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for tuning in for another video. I am back in my usual filming setup now uh, because all the Christmas presents and the mess that I had in here I've managed to clear. And I asked over on my Instagram stories, if you don't follow me, it's at Charlotte Buttrick. I'll leave it linked down below. If you would like to see my favourite fashion buys of 2017, and the majority of you said yes, so I have picked out my top seven favourite fashion buys from 2017. They're basically from Topshop, ASOS, Gucci and Zara, which seem to be my four favourite places to shop. Can always rely on them, especially Topshop and ASOS. I think I'm becoming a little bit addicted. So I'm just going to talk you through my favourite purchases, why they were my favourites, why I would recommend them. Uh, before I start, I will just say I've got a Missy Empire bodysuit on. I will leave that linked in the description bar below along with everything in today's video. So let's have a look at my favourite things I bought in 2017. The first is a Topshop leather biker jacket. I had a mango biker jacket that should be listed on my Depop actually. If it's not gone live yet, I'm having a clear out so I'll have everything on my Depop pretty soon. It's Lurch Hound Loves, I will leave that link below as well. But I was after a leather jacket that looked a little bit like the acne leather jacket because not about spending £1,500 on a leather jacket unfortunately, so I wanted an affordable one from the high street. And this came in at 195 it's still full price on the website, it's a kind of semi-cropped bike style, we've got the beautiful buckle detail, the leather is just so soft. For £200 I think this is a really good quality leather jacket because if you go to All Saints it can go up to £350, um, Reese are around £350 to £500, so the higher you go you would expect the leather to be softer and better wearing but this is just divine, I think it looks gorgeous on, it's got a lot of structure to it and I know I would get a lot of wear out of it because a leather jacket is a good staple in your wardrobe and it just fits really nicely, it doesn't feel oversized, I don't feel like it makes me look big or anything so I can definitely recommend this Topshop leather jacket if you are looking for a investment purchase on the lower scale for your wardrobe in 2018. Moving on to Zara, I will be coming back to Topshop shortly because I have another two favourites. So three of my seven favourite fashion pies from 2017 have been from Topshop, but it is a pair of boots from Zara and it is these gorgeous sock boots. So they are a black knitted sock boot. I was a bit dubious at first thinking, not going to be very practical. But they've been absolutely fine. They barely have worn at all. I've got so much wear out of them. It has a silver chrome heel on the back which hasn't scratched and they are just the comfiest things because the heel isn't too high and they're kind of like the perfect height of sock boot that looks really flattering with dresses and skirts. I think I paid 50 to 60 pounds for these. They're probably not available anymore and they might even be in the Zara sale. If I can find them I will link them below. If not I will link some similar knitted sock boots in the affordable range but I've got so much wear out of them. I will continue to get so much wear out of them. Again being black they're very classic. I know they're based on the Balenciaga sock boot but the thicker chrome heel just makes them a little bit different and I tend to wear quite a lot of silver hardware apart from my YSL bag anyway. So they were my favourite boots purchase of 2017. Moving on to another pair of shoes. I could not, not have these in my top seven fashion buys of 2017. You might already guess it, but it is my Gucci sling back loafers. I purchased these in New York for my 30th birthday last February. And I did a lot of thinking about it because I thought, it's a lot of money to spend on a pair of shoes, about £500. I think they're available on My Teresa, I, if that's how you pronounce it. I will leave them linked below in the sizes they've got available. But they're just so comfortable. They have not given me a blister once. The first time I wore them, they did not blister. The leather is just so soft. You really are getting the quality for your money. And obviously we've got the signature Gucci horse bit there. They're still as popular as they were last year. And I'm sure that they will be for the foreseeable future. And it's a very classic style that isn't really going to go out of fashion anyway. So with wardrobe investments, I try and think of pieces that I know are classic and I'm going to get a lot of use out of. And I just absolutely adore these so much, so comfortable. I actually want to buy another pair and I'm thinking of getting the pink slingbacks again because I feel like the slingbacks would be more comfortable. Perhaps if I did have a full back on the Gucci loaf and they may have rubbed. So I don't know if anybody can let me know in the comments below if you've got the Gucci loafers that 
you know, aren't the slingbacks, do they rub or have they always been comfortable? But I would invest in another pair because they go with everything, they are so comfortable, the quality is amazing and they are just a perfect statement piece for a subtle minimal look. Sticking on Gucci, behind me I have one of my favourite accessories. I'm actually wearing the gold one at the moment, which is the first one that I bought, which I bought in 2016 and then in 2017 because I had so much wear out of my gold one I decided to buy another one and I went for the slightly different Gucci belt which is the double G like this and to be honest I actually have more wear out of this one I do actually prefer this belt it is a gold buckle but sometimes it looks silver so it works really well with silver or gold hardware and it's not the the cliche blogger Gucci belt. Well, probably is still a cliche belt, what am I talking about? But it's not the one that everybody has, so it is slightly different. It's a little bit more minimal, a little less more big GG in your face. Absolutely adore this. I would, again, buy another one of these. If I get the pink loafers, I may later in the year also get the pink belt for spring, summer, so I can wear them together and be a Gucci whore. <laughs> Moving back to Topshop, I cannot, cannot, cannot recommend these jeans enough. People who ask me on my Instagram, I tell them about these jeans. Anybody who says I would like some straight leg jeans, a little bit relaxed, got a vintage maybe Levi's feel, I always recommend these jeans. I have four pairs, the black pairs in the wash at the moment, but I have three pairs on one hanger. So I have a light wash denim pair, a bleach denim, I have a kind of in-between vintage denim, and I also have a darker denim. I've got a black and I want to get the indigo dark dark denim ones as well so I may buy them when I go into Manchester this Sunday and it is the Topshop straight leg frayed hem jeans. These are just the most amazing fit. They loosen a little bit when you wear them you know, around the knees but they always keep their fit around your waist, on your bum. Um, they wash really well, they just look really well with every outfit from going out and pairing them with a pair of heels or wearing them with my Gucci loafers, wearing them with trainers, wearing them with ankle boots as well because they're like the perfect leg height. I also think they're really true to size. Topshop sizes kind of baffle me sometimes. I'll go in and especially with the skinny jeans, sometimes I can't even fit into the size 12 and I'm a UK 10 rows. These jeans, I've got all of my pairs in a size 28 and the fit is just spot on in these as well. So I can't get enough of these straight leg jeans. You'll see a lot more of them on my blog and my Instagram and yeah, any colour that they come out with, I'm hopefully gonna have in my wardrobe. <laughs> we may as well stick with Topshop before I move on to my last piece from ASOS. And a surprising popular purchase of mine has been the Baker Boy hat. So from Topshop, I have two. I have the wool cap and then I also have the PU cap as well. And I never thought that I would be a Baker Boy hat kind of girl because I always feel like a bit of a tit in the hat if I'm being honest, but I've really found it a love for them. James still hates them, he calls them like my train driver hats, but that kind of makes me want to wear them more when I know that he doesn't like it, but I've got the two. I want to experiment with a few different colours for spring summer, so I will get a lot more wear out of these for the winter months, and then come spring summer you may even see me sporting like a beige, or god even knows, a pink one? We shall see, but they're inexpensive, they're 13, 15 pounds each, they pull a look together instantly. I think you've probably seen them on my blog and my Instagram and things like that, which will be all linked below. And absolutely love Big Boy, and I'm sure I will hopefully do in 2018 as well. Moving on to my final and seventh fashion favourite buy from 2017, it has to be this cardigan from ASOS. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore, but I will link some of the styles below from ASOS if they've got any other ones, Topshop, I know, and other stories, do a cardigan similar to this, which I really wanted to buy originally, but it was £60, and this one was only 30 Me being a bit of a money saver, cheapskate if you want to call me that, I went for the cheaper version, but it's washed really well. I've worn it so much. You will have seen it on my Instagram, his picture here, wearing with the Topshop jeans my Gucci belt. Told you they were my favourites of the year. And yeah, I feel like I want to add more cardigans like this to my wardrobe. It looks so chic, Parisian, 
cool, just worn on its own with a bra underneath with a pair of jeans, kind of like, I've just thrown this on but I look really good. And also you can layer it up, it would look nice with a roll neck underneath, you can have it open over dresses and things like that, so I think cardigans are making a real big comeback again. I'm sure you will see me in lots more cardigans for 2018. 18. So those have been my 2017 favourite seven fashion buys. I will now go and try and do some little inserts for you so you can see what the items look like on. As I said, everything will be linked below. I'd love to know in the comments below what your favourite fashion buys have been of 2017. If there's anything you can recommend that I try for the new year, but all of these pieces will be worn throughout 2018. You will most definitely see them on my blog, Instagram, YouTube and things like that. But if you're new I would love if you did subscribe and yeah join my YouTube family for 2018. Here's to a great year and I will see you in my next video next Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Bobby switch lanes, diamonds in my chain. In the run the world, all the hoes know my name. Call it automatic gang, bang, bang. It's that automatic gang, bang, bang.